Brett Okamoto with UFC middleweight Paulo Costa, who just defeated Yoel Romero at UFC 241 in Anaheim by decision. Paulo, this was, uh, I think, uh, pretty clearly the most difficult opponent you had ever faced yeah. in your career. You got the victory. How do you feel about the performance? Yes, yeah, so for sure. Uh, Romero is a tough guy, but I showed to everybody that I'm the most tough guy than him, you know? So I'm ready to the belt. Uh, I deserve that. I beat the, the most strong guy of this division, and now I show to everybody that I I can be the next champion. I will wait for the next tire sh uh, tire shot. What uh, what what made him so difficult out there in the octagon? Man, Romero have a lot uh, experience of this on this cage. <sighs> He's very smart. He he hit very hard. Have a hard chain, and he's a tough guy, tough, very tough guy. On the second round, I feel an opportunity to knock him out, but unfortunately, he put his finger on my eyes, and my my vision is uh, bro, blurry. Yeah, blurring, and I think uh, he had a time to recover. Maybe if he don't, he don't. Uh, put his finger on my eye. I, uh, I owe a code. I knock on him out, but I don't know. There were several times in the fight where he hit you and you smiled at him. Were you really smiling at him, saying like that didn't hurt, or, or did it hurt when when you when you would smile after him after some of those shots? No, I I, I did hurt. Uh, I think uh, he's hurt. I think he's hurt, and I don't know why he put his. How you say? His tongue chew out, but uh, he's the things about him. Yeah, he did that quite a bit. Were you, were you bothered by that at all? He was sticking his tongue out at you a lot during the fight. No, no, no. He, he, uh, I don't care about that. I just uh, focus, uh, keep focus on, on my fight and on my strategy and what uh, I need to do. I think one of the best things that can happen for a fighter is that they can learn something in a fight but still get the win. Like they don't have to lose, but they can still learn something. Did you yeah. learn anything in this I mean, fight? Yes, I win a lot. Uh, my wrestling grow, grow very, very good because I have the best coach of the world, Eric Obahassin, helped me a lot. And everybody say, Romero will put you down. And he, 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 he co couldn't, right? He, he, he didn't, he, 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 he don't, he don't do, do it, do it. And I defense all takedowns, but I need to train more skills uh, in another part of the fight. Where do, uh, Paulo, where do you think your confidence comes from? I mean, to come in here and fight a guy who had competed in the Olympics, who had accomplished what he had in this sport, you came in and you were confident all week. Where do you think that comes from? Man, I think uh, the part of this, because I'm born with confidence, but another part because I train a lot, I do my best on, on the camp, I, I, I don't, uh, I, I do all things that I can do on the camp, you know? We bring uh, two wrestlers, one American guy and one Brazilian guy from wrestling to help me, nine spars, experience, fires to help me. And we, we did uh, three spas per week, every week, mm -hmm. for three months. It's a very hard camp. And my confidence comes from, from this too, and God. I think the God gives me a lot of confidence. I will say this, that this is the second time in a row I've interviewed you after a win, but you are wearing the fight on your face. You do have the marks on your face. Is that something that you would like to work on your defense? Are you comfortable saying, I can take these guys' shots, they can't take mine? Uh, yes, I, I, I can avoid some, some hits, you know. Uh, I will try in the next fight, avoid, avoid some, some punch, some kicks, but that's, that's things happen. This is the most tough guy of the world, yep. you know. After I am most tough guy than he, but he's a your Romero. He beat a lot legends of the sport, so uh, these things happen. So what happens now? You get a ticket to Melbourne, Australia for next over. Yeah, is that the plan? Sure. For sure, for sure. I went on the Dana White aircraft with him. <laughs> What's that? I want to go there to Melbourne with the same fly of Dana White in, on his 
plane. Hey, plane. Up on the yeah, private jet. Private jet. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I, <laughs> that makes sense to me. Yeah. Huh? Drink, drink champagne with him. All right. Well, how do you see that fight between Robert Whittaker and Israel Adesanya? Yeah, I think uh, Whittaker will always match Adesanya. But if Adesanya won, I, I would be happy to slap his face. Yeah, is it, in a way, would you almost like to face? Is he a little bit more? I remember this summer. You two were talking to each other at, at, in Las Vegas after you beat Uriah Hall. Is there any type of feelings between the two, between you and Izzy? Yes, I have. I have. He's a particular, if a personal against a designer, he's talking a lot. Mm -hmm. And he not prove yet, you know? Mm -hmm. He need prove. And if he take this belt for uh one jeito, De algum jeito? If he if he if the son I think he's this belt. Anyway, I will kill him. Were you impressed? Were you impressed at all with him when he fought um, Kel Kelvin Gastelum? Were you impressed by that at all? Sorry. No, 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 no. Kelvin Gastelum is not nice midweight. You know, he's uh, under division mm -hmm. of class, mm -hmm. so. Kevin Gasso is not middleweight. All right, so last question. When you go to Melbourne, will you be cheering for Adesanya just because you'd prefer to fight him next? Yes. You will be. I, I'd like to kill him. I'd like to, to hit his face, slap his face, you know, and kick, kick his ass. But I think Whitaker will beat him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.